Another breaking development just an hour ago, Hertz says it will provide 50,000 Tesla cars to Uber drivers by 2023. This is what Hertz says. Next time you order an Uber, it might be one of our Tesla electric vehicles. We are excited to provide up to 50,000 electric vehicles to Uber drivers by 2023. Just an hour ago, tweeted Hertz with the hashtag let Let's go. This is going to be a very interesting combination, friends. Uh, Hertz is moving very fast. And in fact, Tesla Model 3 rental rates already are appearing on reservation website of Hertz. This Hertz Tesla Uber combination results in the following situation. Hertz has electric option and Uber has green option. As a result, Tesla sells more vehicles. On Monday, Hertz announced it plans to convert its fleet of rental vehicles to electric and has placed an initial order for 100,000 Tesla Model 3s. The company said the cars will be added to their fleet by the end of 2022 with the first Model 3s arriving as early as next month. Now look at that thing that it said initial order of 10 100,000 Tesla Model 3s. This is telling me that there may be more orders because Hertz says 500,000 cars and it wants to move them everything to electrification because a lot of people prefer electric vehicles and I will not be surprised if Hertz adds more vehicles. Now this morning Hertz uh, is again surprising us with an announcement that it will provide up to 50,000 electric vehicles to Uber drivers by 2023. I don't know if these 50,000 Teslas are in addition to the 100,000 Tesla uh, that Hertz announced buying from Elon Musk company or these are among those 100,000 so I don't know uh, probably among them but if so then Hertz won't have enough vehicles to speedily electrify its uh, 500,000 car rental fleet but who knows if all goes well I won't be surprised if Hertz may one day announce a new huge order from Tesla or another electric vehicle provider, let's say Volkswagen or another one. People comment on their Hertz's new announcement this morning providing 50,000 uh, electric Teslas to Uber drivers by 2023 and say you should order 200,000 Model Y vehicles immediately. All these customers experiencing those Teslas in Hertz will scoop up all the supply. They would like to have more. Others suggest, others people uh, suggest uh, Hertz to to make it an option where drivers can request a Tesla not just a random car when selecting a car. One person comments saying if even if we have to wait longer I want to ride in a Tesla and nothing else. Hertz is getting ahead for the disruption friends. Hertz is now kind of two steps ahead of competition. Now this is how a company is totally reborn considering Hertz just recently came out of bankruptcy. Congratulations and good job guys wishing you the best well friends this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please like this video if you found the information interesting and let's move on to the next story on tesla. elon musk just minutes ago tweeted and talked about the tesla hertz deals pricing how much hertz has paid for tesla wow what a week to start the week there was plenty of news this morning about panasonic making the first 4680 batteries and showing off and then uh, hertz announcing the Tesla deal news. Tesla gets an order of 100,000 cars from Hertz. Huge move and super smart. Rentals in huge demand and going green. The rental fleets need replenishment. And then Elon Musk just minutes ago literally tweeted about um, the, the pricing because during the day a lot of people were wondering if Hertz got a discount because like Kim Pocket say today uh, just tweeted also said Elon certainly bus certain business report Reporters believe this sale to a rental fleet is indication of low demand since car people say so. But Elon Musk tweeted today.
okay and to one tweet responding saying it is strange that the hertz news moved the valuation of tesla as tesla is very much a production ramp problem not a demand problem thus responding both to the person who tweeted about the amazement of tesla getting 100,000 orders from rental company uh, and uh, kim pakwet a tweeter about tesla saying elon certain business people reporting uh, re certain business reporters believe this sale to a rental fleet is an indication of low demand but elon musk just tweeted and said to be clear cars sold to hertz have no discount same price as to consumers again tesla did not give hertz a discount but uh, it's the hertz is paying for 100,000 tesla vehicles the same price as the consumers pay now this raised more questions uh, tesla silicon valley owners tweeted several questions i think they're great questions and i want to share with um, with you guys one of them is will it come with fsd package that means will, if you rent a car from hertz will it come from uh, with full self-driving package we don't know the answer elon musk has not responded yet another Another question did Hertz ask for one because we know that each package is ten thousand dollars well Hertz I guess can uh, in increase a couple of uh, hundred, uh, couple of dollars per vehicle the price uh, and uh, offer full self driving if your license uh, allows it I guess because it's a safety issue so I don't think they will come with full self driving because that will um, raise a lot of liability issues another question is how will the rollout work in which manner Tesla is going to roll out another person asked if uh, what is the allocation from Fremont factory versus Giga factory Shanghai I think those company those Tesla vehicles that are going to go to Hertz rentals in Europe are likely to come from Giga Shanghai but those that are going to Hertz uh, uh, rental in United States they're likely to come from the Fremont factory you know Hertz paid the same amount as a regular customer while advertising the model 3 on its homepage and YouTube channel this is why Tesla doesn't need to pay for advertising Europe about to see the advertising hertz released three advertisings today some people say pretty soon there will be a one-year wait for a tesla uh, that's kind of uh, amazing and even you know too long to wait right uh, hopefully giga berlin and giga factory texas can start pumping new tesla vehicles uh, out 24 hours uh, seven uh, six weeks six days a week to catch up with demand now does anyone know how charging will be handled with rental uh, originating after january 31 or 2021 or how the charging will um, be uh, will be handled with tesla vehicles if you rent a tesla vehicle do you need to return the tesla vehicle to hertz fully charged that means you have to go to a charger supercharger and stay there wait there for a little bit or will it be billed by hertz with the usual service fees and markups these are the questions and or answers we don't know friends but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and get ready to see the three advertisements if you haven't seen them today by hers this is armin harian from talknews.com let's keep watching after announcing the news about purchasing Tesla vehicles, Hertz has released three ads this morning, friends. Earlier, we thought there was only one ad, but looks like second ad and third ad also were released. Some people think it's very early because the orders will not be available until November of this year, but they are online and you're about to see it. It became known that Hertz Global Holdings placed an order for 100,000 Tesla Model 3s as a step towards its ambitious plan to electrify its renter car fleet it will be the largest electric vehicle purchase known to date and is a great example for other companies in the fight to reduce co2 emissions from combustion engines vehicles so now it looks like there are a bunch of ads right now and uh, released by Hertz uh, not only one there is a second Hertz Tesla ad which says let's go uh, one is 15 minute spot another one is also 15 minute spot and the third one is 30 minute uh, I'm sorry not minutes second spots and you're about to see it let's take a look at them together and talk about this so you want EVs you have come to the right place is that Tom Brady yeah comes in to recharge get software updates you know Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Toast. When life has you playing, hurry Let's up. Go. Let's go. Hertz keeps you ahead of the game. Let's go. Introducing our all new electric vehicles. Let's go. Our new EV rental fleet is the absolute goat. Nice. 
Speaking of goats, is that Tom Brady? Yeah. He comes in to recharge, gets software updates. You know. Same time next week? You got it. Cool. Let's go. I think they're a very nicely made aid. What do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts. So Hertz Global Holdings has placed an order for a whooping 100,000 Teslas in a huge first step toward electrifying its rental car fleet and in the process of mainstreaming electric vehicles. Bloomberg reported the news early this morning, a few minutes ahead of the press release, notes Electric, with sources who asked not to be identified and said that it represents around $4.2 billion dollars of revenue for Tesla. It will be the single largest purchase ever for electric vehicles. The cars will be delivered over the next 14 months from an already tight supply of Tesla vehicles. Tesla needs to come up with better plan or quicker plan or some other ways to quickly start the production of Model 3. Uh, I'm sure I'm sorry at Gigafactory Austin and also at Giga Berlin in because the schedule of deliveries are is already very tight. Blue Bloomberg points out that the cost of the order implies that Hertz is paying list prices for the Teslas and is thus not getting a discount for its large order, which car rental companies usually get from car makers. Tesla Model 3s will be available to rent at Hertz locations in major US markets and parts of Europe starting in early November, according to the source. Customers will, of course, have access to superchargers, and Hertz is also building its own charging infrastructure, as I said um, before. So here's what Bloomberg writes. Bloomberg says the electrification plan, which eventually will encompass almost all of Hertz's half million cars and trucks worldwide, is the company's first big initiative since emerging from bankruptcy in June. And it signals that Hertz's new owner, uh, Knighthead Capital Management and Certares Management are intent on shaking up an industry dominated by a handful of large players who are typically show, um, slow to change. Now, what's interesting about this, friends, and I want to bring it to your attention. First of all, the ads look very good, in my opinion. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But this is going to further speed up the uh, electric vehicle adoption by the general public. Let's say uh, John. John goes from New York to Los Angeles and for a business trip. And John has never had electric vehicle in his life and has never tried electric vehicle, never tried. He goes there and he sees Tesla available at Hertz um, car rental. And, you know, whether willingly or reluctantly, John decides to rent a Tesla. He likes the experience and all of a sudden Tesla is in his mind and this will speed up the transition of electric vehicle adoption in my uh, in my opinion so what do you think about that uh, uh, that, that ad in a quick turnaround due to the high demand for rental cars Hertz officially emerged from bankruptcy on June 30th which allowed it to shed more than 5 billion of debt the bankruptcy was because of the virus situation and uh, because you know people were not traveling for business not much and there was no rental very much now electric things this is a huge win for Tesla and electric vehicles because in general, I agree with this. Getting bottoms in seats will speed adoption. Electric says it's interesting to see Hertz interim CEO Mark Fields leading the charge here since Fields was out, uh, ousted from Ford a few years back, largely for not modernizing the company and preparing properly for the onslaught of electric vehicles. It's also a big win for Hertz since we, and I assume most Tesla owners, will look there first when renting cars. I'm going to assume that they won't expect to return the car's charge and hope they don't charge some um uh, recharging fee akin to like $9.99. They charge for gas if you don't return the car full. So I don't know because then how are you, let's say you are in a busy uh, trip, you don't have time, you can't charge it in five minutes, you need more time. But I think the situation may change once we have our cars charged at a faster um, speed. So in one of the ads, Tom Brady, um, 
He is an electric vehicle guy and has been driving an electric vehicle for years. His celebrity will reach many of the middle American folks who have not caught the electric vehicle bug yet. This is a big mainstreaming moment. The other big thing to consider is how this is going to affect the supply of Model 3s. Tesla already can't make enough cars and is currently at a 1 million car per year run rate. However, assuming Austin and Berlin Gigafactories get online soon, the car maker should be able to cover this extra demand in stride over the next year and two months but that's really just the start we have to assume that other rental car agencies will have to buy in to keep it to keep it up nothing but upside here so now i think that uh, we will i will not be surprised if we see other car companies uh buying teslas announcing their tesla vehicle fleet next year so can you imagine Imagine how many people will rent a Tesla only to realize, hey, electric vehicles are awesome. My next car will definitely be an electric vehicle. What do you think? How many? We will have the number if we know how many people uh, or customers uh, Hertz serves each year. No, I think it is a huge uh, that 20% of their fleet might be Tesla because if we're talking about they have about Hertz has about 500,000 cars and we're talking about 100,000 Tesla Model 3s. Now going to 20% Teslas will definitely be a huge marketing boom for Tesla and for Hertz. Plus anyone renting from Hertz will have a huge chance uh, of getting a Tesla without even trying it now the only thing that is not good maybe here is the price keep going up and i still need to replace my ford escape says one person under electrix uh, story at least i have my model 3 though now and other people say i believe when the next factories are online that the timeline for delivery will shrink yes i think so because once Gigafactory Berlin and Gigafactory Texas in Austin come online, the time will shrink. I think this is really exciting time for Tesla. Well, let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Please give us a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it.